Well, the state's new group taking a look at making school buses safer was back together today, hearing from the National Transportation Safety Board. TNTP's Colin Dorsey was at that meeting earlier today. He is live tonight with what the NTSB brought to the table. Colin. Yeah, put seat belts on school buses. That was the big takeaway from the NTSB's presentation. Now, the NTSB has been looking at bus crashes for several decades now and comparing those crashes on buses that do have seat belts to buses without them. However, some are pretty skeptical of that recommendation. My fear is that we're trapping kids there, whereas maybe they could be pushed off to the side, whereas their injury could be pretty significant. Seat belts. The NTSB says they're needed, but not everyone is completely sold on the idea. What impacts are we haven't had enough studies to see what it's like to have seat belts and buses for a long time. What are the operational things? What, what, what's the maintenance issues? What are all of those other things that go with it? There are a lot of questions about adding belts to buses. How would they work? Would they work at all? Kristen Palmer from the NTSB says they do work, but it's a team effort. Involves an entire system approach. The children need to know how to use the belts. The drivers need to encourage the belts. There needs to be requirements for them. Parents and school districts need to be part of this system for the entire process to be effective. Video like this shows how kids move in a front end crash in a bus, but those seats don't hold them in place in a sideways crash or a rollover crash. NTSB investigators have been comparing school bus accidents over the years, ones without seat belts to similar crashes with seat belts, taking a look at how students are thrown about inside the bus during a crash. Properly worn lap shoulder belts provide the best protection for large school bus passengers in all crash types. They keep the children within the seating compartment before and during the crash dynamics and are very effective at preventing ejection. Now this is just the second meeting of this working group. They'll meet a total of six times before they put together the recommendations and present them to the state. Live in Columbus, Colin Dorsey, 10 TV News.